Hoy nuestra cita es con el street art. Después de la apertura te veo para que descubramos cómo el arte urbano deja las calles. Acompáñame. Estamos con Yab Litvin. Thank you so much for receiving us today. And a few days ago was the presentation of your uh, book, uh, Outdoor Gallery, New York City. Right. So we would like to start with what you try to capture in that book and how like the street art that usually lives uh, in the streets lives the street for this time. So first of all, of course, it's a personal document uh, of my adventures in New York. Um, I, had, I got the spark of love for art and for street art especially um, because of many reasons. One of it being that it's free and available for everybody to see. Uh, and because of that, I think a lot of the artists um, do work that is a little bit more controversial and more interesting. Um, so I love the public uh, part of it. Um, I just started walking around because of a personal injury, so I couldn't do any other sport. Uh, and then I decided to take my camera along and I also got into Instagram yeah. uh, and I got very good feedback from uh, the artists themselves and the fans and I just started having fun with my photography and pretty quickly um, I decided I want to do a book. And then I started reaching out to the artists uh, who were very cooperative and were interested and I worked with them uh, throughout the entire process on interviews and uh, photos of their work. And the, the reasons that they're doing street art is very different. So one, it's a very personal reason. Uh, OCMC, for example, does street art as a way of um, remembering different people, significant people in his life and in uh, people that he knows life. Um, other people do street art because they come from the culture of hip hop and the 80s and 70s uh, movement that was here in New York City. Uh, others were from abroad and just influenced by very important uh, graffiti books like uh, Subway Art uh, by Martha Cooper. So there are many, many, many reasons. What have you been seeing uh, for these two years you have been working on the book? Like new techniques that call your attention, or new trends. What can you tell us about that? So there's many, many, many techniques. Every technique that you pretty much see in a studio fine art, there's on the street. So if there's work with clay, sculptures, 3D uh, installations, classically trained artists, stencil artists, uh, illustration, uh, collage, you could freehand, spray paint different kinds of spray paint. So it's really all stickers, stickers. different stickers. Uh, that's a whole world in and of itself. Um, it's just it's just so varied, yeah. And you can see this beautiful, beautiful mural up here. This is by a, a group, a, a new uh, group of incredible artists that collaborate together. Some of them are in the book. Uh, they're called Numerica. Um, so there's a lot of initiatives, that might, that's my point. Um, groups of artists, individual artists, different mediums. I feel that sometimes graffiti, and, and maybe a little less so street art, but especially graffiti, there's a very negative stereotype with a lot of people about it, you know. Vandalism, illegal. Just, yeah, just those things, yeah. whereas it's a whole that's art form, exactly. a whole world. People are so accepting of, like I said, advertisements. Why don't you accept creativity and beautiful art that will inspire everybody, including your kids? And Give us your personal definition, original definition of street art. What means street art to you? To me, it means art on the street. Sorry to be so, 
So <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like I said, that's really what I'm trying to convey. It's so diverse. I'm really uh, weary of trying to define it, but it is any kind of art um, with any medium that is put on the street for everybody to enjoy and it's uh, unrelated, necessarily directly related to some kind of corporate profit. So it really is something, an act of generosity to the public. Te veo el próximo jueves. Ya te suscribiste a mi canal. Chao, chao.